Thank you, Rachel. Well, the Highland Park School Board is taking its fight against an emergency manager to Lansing this morning in an effort to avoid the appointment of that EM. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live in Highland Park this morning. Kim, is the school district's existence at stake in all of this? It is, Mary. Students here at Highland Park High School, where we are right now, are just some of the students who don't know whether they will be continuing their education at Highland Park schools with the teachers and classes that they've come to like. Today, though, the school board will go to Lansing and they will fight for both the district's future and for control of the district. They will be at a hearing at 10 o'clock arguing that they are fixing the district's financial situation and don't need an emergency manager appointed. It may be a hard story to sell. Last week, state treasurer Andy Dillon lasked, lashed out at district leaders. He had to advance the district $118,000 in funding so school workers would be paid. He criticized the district for keeping incomplete and inaccurate financial records. Parents say students are suffering. Kids ain't getting the education what they need. It's real sad for them. It's, it's just sad for them. That's not a good thing to be, keep merging schools with other schools. It's too many things, too many kids out here that's in certain different games, and you keep emerging kids in these different schools, it causes problems. State leaders say the school district is in the red by about $11 million. One of the big problems, declining enrollment. There are three schools still open in the district. Between all three of them, less than 1,000 students remain. Live in Highland Park, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.